Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing this super pretty yet creepy skull. And to get right into it, I'm exfoliating my lips first with my Tarte Pout Scrub or something like that. Pout Prep. Yeah, that's right. It's an exfoliator just to make your lips nice and soft. And then I'm taking my Tarte Mermaid Skin Serum just to hydrate my skin a bit. For the look today, I am hiding my eyebrows because, well, skulls don't have eyebrows. So I'm just taking a non-toxic glue stick running it back and forth through my brows a few times, and then taking a spoolie and laying the hairs down flat, and applying another layer or two of glue if needed. While that's drying, and you have some purple brows, I'm gonna take this Sigma Lip Concealer. It's just a little bit too dark for me, but it does have that orange hue that we need to color correct those brows. It looks yellow here, but it is a bit more on the orangey side. So I'm taking this and covering my brows with it just to color correct so we can get rid of that darkness. And then I'm taking my Bin Nye Neutral Set Powder and I'm just popping that right on top and really pressing it into the eyebrows. Then I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and just remove the lip scrub off of my lips. And I'm gonna be taking this lip liner pencil just to kind of outline how I want the facial features on my skull. This is just a rough draft, it doesn't need to be perfect because we're going to be painting over it, really. It's just kind of an idea to know where I'm going so I don't go too far over my face or mess up too much, you know? Then I'm taking this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask just to moisturize my lips after scrubbing them. And for primer today, I'm using my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I'm also taking my Too Faced Primed and Peachy Primer and I'm just putting that in the areas where I get oily at. For eyeshadow primer, you guys already know, I'm using my Eden Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And I'm putting that all over my lid and just kind of blending it into my eyebrow area that we covered there. Taking my Pastel Goth Palette, we are starting with the shade Doom. It's one of my favorite blue shadows of all time. It's just so amazing. So I'm using this as my transition shade and I'm just using a very large fluffy brush for this because we are going up to the brow, our natural brow bone that we have and really just smoking that out. To deepen that crease, I'm taking my Sephora Pro Editorial Palette and I'm using this bright blue color right there. I'm using more of a pointy-ish kind of brush just to get right in the crease. We're going to start with the painting. I'm using my Bin Nye Magic Cake Aqua Paint. and This is a light blue shade. And throughout this process, you guys, I get really confused a few times and I kind of change what I'm doing. So, you know, if you see me like going back and forth, that's why, because I started changing my mind. I hadn't painted a skull, at least a colorful skull, in I don't know how long. So I'm just taking that blue paint and putting it all over the area that I traced out for the skull face. And I did do a couple of layers of this paint as well. Now I'm taking a blue cream paint. This is from Makeup Forever, and I'm using it as my contour. You could go over with a powder, but sometimes powders make the water-activated paints kind of like crusty or dust off. So I like to go in with a cream paint on top of water-activated paints, and I'm just doing a skull contour. I'm doing the forehead and then like the little areas where the eyebrow bone is raised. I'm making I'm making it darker behind that bone so it looks like that area is actually raised. 
And then I'm going on top of that with that same blue shadow we went in the crease with and I'm just setting all of it and kind of smoking it out a little bit more. Then I decided to go back in with that blue paint around my eyes. This is where I kept like going back and forth and I wasn't really sure what I was doing. I was just going for it. Taking my Bin Nine Magic Color crayon, I am using the shade Bright Blue and I'm putting that right in my waterline on my lash line quite a bit. I'm really dragging it down. And then I'm going back in with that same blue eyeshadow and setting it and smoking it out even more. And I'm even going in with some of that cream paint we used just to make it look very deep set in that area. And then I even go back on top with some more of that shadow. And I'm just really going full blown smoke with it. Then I'm taking that same deep blue shadow and I am going over that area where we traced it out to make the eyes look more deep set or almost hollow like a skull's eyes do and I'm just really smoking that down towards my lid. And then just adding some more of that Kat Von D blue just to make sure everything is cohesive. And going back and forth, if I need to add more blue, go ahead and do it. Taking one of my favorite white liners ever, this is from LA Splash Cosmetics, and this is the shade Alabaster. It's the creamiest white liner, and it does not flake or cake at all. I'm highlighting that brow bone area above the hollow of the eyes. And then I am taking a small brush and just kind of blending that into the blue so it's not a stark, harsh line. Taking my Too Faced Glitter Glue, I'm applying this on my lid and I'm using the Pegasus Glitter from Star Crush Minerals. And I'm just placing that glitter glue down and then packing that glitter right on top. I'm doing kind of like a half cut crease, but it doesn't need to be like absolutely perfect and super cut. I mean, you can make it that way if you want it to, but I was going for a little bit more of a messy-ish kind of look. And then I'm using my Stila Micro Tip Liquid Liner and I'm just creating a fierce cat eye like always. Sorry if I sound a little sick, guys. I have been sick the past couple weeks. I feel a lot better and it's going away, but you know how like a sickness just kind of lingers sometimes? That's what is happening to me. It's so annoying, so I'm sorry if I sound gross. Then I'm taking the dark blue shadow that we use and I'm just deepening up that brow bone area. I'm just going to do the top lip of my liquid lipstick today. I'm using my Wickedly Divine Liquid Lipstick in Sirius from LA Swash Cosmetics. I'm just doing the top lip because I wasn't sure how I was going to do the skull teeth. I kind of was thinking at first that I was going to go on top of my lips with it, but I ended up not doing that. You'll see in a minute. And I'm just filling in that whole area that needs more paint above my lip. I even took a makeup wipe and removed the tip of my nose so it was exposed. Now I'm just taking that blue cream paint we use for Makeup Forever and I am making the incisions for the teeth. I'm using a small angled brush to do this. And I'm making sure they're all going straight up. You don't want them to be angled whatsoever. You want them to be completely straight. And then I'm just kind of smoking them out a little bit so they're not super precise. And I'm going back in with that Pro Artist liner from LA Splash and I am just creating little white lines in the middle of those blue lines. I 
I'm now taking my Tarte Glitter Gel. It's from the Mermaid Collection. It's so pretty, but I'm just laying that down. I wanted super glittery cheeks. I kind of wanted this to be like a festival skull, you know, like a spring-like festival skull. So I added a lot of glitter. And just lay that down all over the cheeks. I even did a little bit on my forehead. And I did some on my nose too. Taking my Bin Nine Magic Cake Black Paint, I am just outlining this whole skull. I'm doing a very thin line at first and it does not need to be perfect whatsoever because we are going to finish the bottom half of the face with some foundation. I'm also outlining this nose part for the skull in black paint as well. And doing a little bit of detailing on the eyes. Taking my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, I'm in the shade Mont Blanc. I'm just applying this all over the lower half of my face with a beauty blender. Ugh. And then I'm also powdering all of that. Then I'm going in with some shading. I'm just taking a gray toned brown shadow and I'm applying that on the bottom half of the face here to make it look like the skull is sitting on top of our face. I'm starting with a lighter shade first. I'm really going along all those edges and then I'm taking a deeper brown shade and I'm going right in the crevices where it'd be the most dark at. Then I'm going back in with that black paint and really defining those black lines, making them a little bit thicker, making sure it's all straight. Taking this Tarte Glitter, this is a little pack, packet of glitter in sequins, I am going to add more glitter gel so it's sticky and then I'm going to take that glitter and the packet and pack it right on top of the glitter gel <laughs> just to add a lot of sparkle. I did this all over the same areas that I put the glitter gel at. Taking my Tarte Eyelash Tweezers, I'm going to apply these lashes. These are three pairs of lashes stacked. I honestly cannot remember what pairs they are, but they make for a super dramatic look. I love them. And then I cut up one pair of lashes, and I am just doing a few small tiny ones on the lower lash line. I think I did three or four on each of the lower lash line. And then I'm also shading that nose. I put on my blonde wig. Yes, ma'am. And I'm going to take that same liquid lipstick and apply it on my lower lip there. I love this blue shade. It's so pretty. And it's totally matte. And it's named after Sirius Black. Taking my Kat Von D shade and light contour palette, I'm just contouring my jawline just to make sure... You know, we don't got no double chin going on there. And I'm starting this dripping process. So what I'm doing is I'm dipping into my water activated paints a little bit, but I'm adding a lot of excess water and I'm just pushing it down on my skin and letting it drip down. However it goes, I am tilting my head a little bit just so all the drips don't go right down the center of my neck. But I did light blue, I did dark blue. I even mixed together light blue and dark blue. And I just did a bunch of them going down my neck. This will just bring kind of like a cohesiveness to the whole look. And then I'm taking this, I'm doing the same thing with excess water and a little bit of paint, but I'm splattering the paint all over. And then I'm doing the same thing with the glitter gel and the sequins on the neck area.
But that is it for this tutorial, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I also wanted to make an announcement real quick. Most of you already know, but I did make it into the top 30 of the NYX Face Awards. Yes, ma'am. So I'll be having a video up soon of the challenge and also a video up soon of me unboxing the goodies from NYX. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I really appreciate your support and love, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.